hey guys so today's topic is like i am going to discuss about a question that is better than question so someone has asked me so i thought i thought that okay let's make a video like how to build the logic behind this pattern there this pattern question okay so yeah so guys whoever has done this question earlier or whoever knows the logic behind this question they can skip it other than this who doesn't know they can watch till the end yeah so okay so for reference i'm going to paste one thing i'll explain you what is this so here like once whenever i'll come across this type of question in my mind only one thing came that okay so i need to relate the logic behind this pattern question with its position so from multiplication division subtraction addition somewhere i need to relate it if i able to find it some logic sequence then fine i can implement into my code fine yeah so okay we'll try to find any logic is there in, the, in this code or not if not then yeah definitely we are not going to uh we are not able to print out this same pattern right but yeah still it is there okay so here you can see that there are seven rows and six column in very first row first column only one letter is going to print then two then three then four then five then six then decreasing right not decreasing we can say that like uh, it is printing up to z only after that like there are no words that's why it stop okay so one thing is clear that okay first loop is first loop will come and the second loop will get increased by 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that fine now how i am going to print this letter okay so here you can see a is position is 1 b is position is 2 in second row i'll just uh, segregate among uh, all this letter through different color okay these uh, h position is 8 now in third uh, row c is position is 3 i s position is 9 and position is 14 then which color is left okay d is position is 4 J's position is 10. O where is O? O's position is 15, and S position is 90. Fine. Okay. So what I am doing this thing? Let me explain. Up to A, fine. A we can print it. Very first letter, no issue. How we are going to print D then H? then c i n then d j o s so there must be some differences right the difference between the positions so here b and h if we subtract 7 from 2 so no not 7 that is 8 8 from 2 that is 6 okay now the second that is C C row. So here the difference between three and nine that is six. Okay, the same fourth row. The difference between D and J that two also six. So did you find it like in very first row, in very first column and second column? all all letter has difference 6 okay okay now now what 
will try to find out the difference between the second column and the third column let's do it so in the second row we don't have third uh, third column letter so we'll go into the third row third column that is n so i and n so here i and n the difference between i and n is 14 minus 9 so how much that is 5 okay so now here j minus o o minus j that is 15 minus 10 that 2 also 5 okay so and so on if we calculate the next also it will come 5 only like between k and p also it will come 5 uh, 5 only you can calculate k where it is k 11 and p is 16 so 11 minus 16 that is fine 5 only now i want to show you that this difference also between o and s that is 4 you can see 15 minus 19 that is 4 so what i have derived from this is that first difference is 6 very first difference is 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 then 1 okay so difference between first column and second column is 6 then 5 then 4 then 3 then 2 and okay so i found the logic behind this thing now i am how i am going to implement into my code okay let's do it i'll explain with that too also so as you already know that we have to run two so first one is range 0 to 7 as you know that there are seven rows so for that we are going to run seven times now another loop is there i plus 1 ok now print chr very first letter is a that is 65 plus i if we are going to increase our value then it should print the next values ok i should add i should not print my values in the next line but i should print in the same line for the same j loop okay now here comes the expression which is the main uh, coding like main logic for this uh, pattern so that is i is equal to i plus 6 minus j i'll explain you i'll explain you at the end like how i have derived this expression now the second thing is the if condition now i wanted to say to the computer that okay hey computer if i ith value increase or if it is greater than 26 so what is 26 so as everybody knows that alpha beta has 26 letter so if it's reach beyond 26 hey computer Hey system, please break my loop. And I have derived my, I have I have achieved my desired output. Fine. Okay. Let's print. Super. Perfect. So as you know that through this logic, I can able to print the same pattern. I'll explain you, I'll explain you like how this logic is running. So here, here if you see in the very first thing, I can carry 0 to 6, right? From 0 to 6, all iterating value it can carry okay, one by one. So once it, it, at the very beginning when i is get its first value that is 0 j will also get its value that is 0 so here you can see the second loops range is 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 right 0 to 1 and 
yeah i's value is this i's values is 0 and j's value can range from 0 to 1 so first j is 0 so here if we'll come into this function 65 plus i's value that is 0 that is going to print our first letter a fine this loop had only one chance to run as you know that j's values were 0 to 1 and 1 was the upper limit which is not going to include it so j will run only for one time so this loop has only one chance to run it so already it has printed a now i's value will get changed once it come across this expression right so i plus 6 minus j i is equal to 0 plus 6 plus j j is also 0 so i's value is 6 but this i values we are not going to use anywhere else why i'll tell you so not not we are going to use only in the first loop only right so if i is greater than 26 is i is greater than 26 no right so this loop is not going to work now here print means like uh, it will break this continuity and it will jump into this second row now here we can see that this loop is finished now here i again will gain its new value that is 2 that is 1 sorry it's my bad that is 1 okay fine now previously i said that here i gain its value as a 6 so i said that okay this i is equal to 6 in very first initial beginning it is not going to use why because i again gain its value is, is equal to 1 fine so here i is 1 j can vary from 0 to i plus 1 that is 2 and 2 has its upper limit so 0 and 1 j can pose poses his values okay in very first when j is 0 so 65 plus i what was the value of i 1 fine okay so 65 plus 1 that is 66 that is b okay one more thing is there whoever does not know that what is what does this function do i'll explain you just for your simplicity so chr is a function if you see its definition so what is what this function says that return a unicode string of one character with ordinal okay whoever like who is whoever is not able to understand i'll explain you so there is one ascii chart in computer so like if i'll print 65 it is going to print a so a has its unique identity number that is 65 in its ascii chart so in general we have mentioned we have stated that i a has its position one so in the same way computer also stated that 65 65th position belongs to a now if i see what is 66 that is b what is 67 that and so on so till 90 that is z so a to z this many values are there okay fine so where were we yeah so we had printed b right now we'll jump into when j is equal to 1 so still our loop is second loop only and yeah, j is equal to 1 now 65 plus 1 okay we haven't calculated like i from the previous uh, loop so we'll go again with the 0 only so when j was 0 65 plus 1 we printed like system has printed as b now i came here in this expression i is equal to 1 plus 6 that is 7 j is equal to 0 then ith value is 7 i's value is 7 now, is i is greater than 26 no no way so again it is going to print again to come into the same loop only so j possesses value as 1 
65 plus i now here as you know that from this last expression i f value was 7 right we had calculated earlier when j was 0 and i was 1 so i's value i i i's value get changed to 7 so 65 plus 7 okay got it then what is going to be that is h no 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 i am not getting like how it is going to print h i'll explain how it is going to print h so here if you see chr 65 plus 7 that is h fine so in the ascii chart if you see 65 plus 7 position 7 to 7th position is given to the h character okay so that is why it is printing h now we, here we can see that okay fine now it will come into the this expression it will come into this expression i is equal to i plus 6 minus j so i's value was 7 plus 6 that is 13 minus j j is 1 so 12 now 12 still less than 26 so this loop is not going to run now here we can see that this loop was authorized to run for only two times because j can possess 0 and 1 position which is finished so now it will print this statement and it can jump into the third line so again i i's value i can take its value third value that is i is equal to 2 fine so here if we we'll put i is equal to 2 that is 2 plus 1 okay so what is the j value like, uh, how many times this loop is going to run fine so i plus 2 that is 3 fine so j can possess 0 1 and 2 so 3 value it can possess so we can say that this loop is going to run 3 times fine so guys i am not going to explain you till the end so uh, i can explain you uh, up to this position only so if you have any doubt like you can comment on this video i can explain you a bit more okay so okay let's finish this loop so here I, j can take its first value that is 0 so 65 plus i i has its value 2 so i plus 2 what is it that is i plus 2 that is 67 67 position in the ascii chart is given to c so it is going to bring c fine now it will jump into this expression now i value was 2 plus 6 that is 8 g j is 0 then i has its value 8 fine now still 8 is less than 26 so this loop is not going to run fine so i was having its value 8 now j will run for second time when j will take its value j is equal to 1 now print 65 plus i i the value was 8 65 plus i okay 65 plus i that is 73 so what is 73 position so that is i so i is going to print okay here you can check it like 73 position of chr 73 that is i fine so i is going to print now again through this expression i's value will get changed so i's value was 8 plus 6 that is 14 minus j j means 1 right so 14 minus 1 that is 13 so is 13 is greater than 26 no no way so again it is going in the starting like j is going to get its third value that is 2 j is equal to 2 fine 
65 plus i so what was the value of i and what was the value uh, we calculated in the last loop that is i is equal to 13 right because why 13 i was having its value 8 8 plus 6 that is 14 and j was having 1 so 14 minus 1 that is 13 right so 65 plus 13 so okay 65 plus 13 that is 78 so what is 78 that is n fine so here we have n so likewise it is going to bring now again it will come to this expression i is 13 plus 6 that is 19 minus 2 that is 17 i is equal to 17 still less than 16 so once i re reaches more than 26 then only this loop is going to run so again print and again i will take its fourth position uh, fourth uh, uh, number that is i is equal to 3 so likewise this loop will run okay so same way d j o s k if will process in the same way you can print it out all the fourth all the position all the letter okay so when it is going to end so once the loop will get ith value i i's i's value greater than 26 suppose if it reaches more than 26 like 27 28 like like that so this loop will break through this if condition okay so yeah in this way we can get this pattern okay so yeah thank you guys so still if you have any doubt you can comment on this video i am ready to help you guys and yeah at the end please do like and share and subscribe thank you